Innocent Turtle Girl, welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. First off, happy World Turtle Day if you're watching this on May 23rd. And if you're watching this the day I upload it, then you're watching the day before World Turtle Day. It will be Friday the 22nd when this video goes up. So you actually have time to prepare to celebrate or in this case, celebrate because get it, turtles have shells. Anyway, you have time to prepare to celebrate World Turtle Day, which is tomorrow. And hey, if you're watching this any other day of the year, hello, welcome. We can celebrate turtles. Sorry. We can celebrate turtles every single day. So today we're actually talking about why turtles make great pets. And before we get started, let me just take all this crazy attire off so you can actually take me seriously. Here, you, you come down here. There you go. All right, okay, so a few important things before we get started. Now, first of all, before we get into any of the reasons that they do make awesome pets, just kind of like full disclosure, this is all gonna be relative. People have different experience when it comes to taking care of pets, and it's all subjective. What's easy for one person may not be easy for another, so I'm kind of just speaking in general terms. And then the other thing to recognize is that turtles are just not pets for everybody, and it just depends on what you are looking for. But with that all out of the way, make sure you hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's talk about why turtles make great pets. So when I was thinking about this list, I already kind of had an idea in mind of what I wanted to talk about, but just to make sure that we were including everything, I asked you guys over on Instagram for suggestions so really quickly I'll show you some suggestions and I'll read a couple of my favorites and these are like not the serious ones these are the funny ones cute was overwhelmingly the most popular answer people love turtles because they're cute but then here are some of my other personal favorites they're basically fish but more interactive says Dan the guppy man herring Cecilia says they may someday become teenage mutant ninja turtles Debella 96 says because they are the silliest swimmers which I can say is absolutely true. They are hilarious when they are swimming around. Meg underscore Nrog underscore RS says, they have weird little personalities and are quite goofy, especially when it comes to food. Also true. Theo underscore Lavery underscore says, something to keep you occupied during lockdown. I don't know if that's a really good reason to get a pet, but it's kind of true. They are entertaining, but don't just get a pet because you're bored. Anyway, Patman13 says they are majestic, and Sadstick tended off says they're so friggin' cute. Which is what most of you said. Turtles are very, very cute. So with that, let's go ahead and get into some reasons that turtles make great pets. Those are just a couple of my silly little favorites from that question response on Instagram. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, you should definitely do it because I often ask for a lot of input over there. So follow me over there on Instagram, at the turtle girl. It's just the same name as here on YouTube. All right, so now with all of that being said, let's get into this and talk about why turtles make great pets. The first thing that I think is really important is that turtles are very relatively easy and are pretty hardy. So this means that they're easy to care for as far as their um, equipment and their needs and then hardy as far as how easy it is to keep them healthy. They're very adaptable and can adjust even if you're a beginner and make some small mistakes in the first place. So let's get into that easy part. Again, like I said in the beginning, it's all relative, but I would say that turtles are relatively low maintenance. So as far as like the things you need to do day to day to maintain their tank, it's very little. Maybe you need to do the occasional water top off or the occasional water change. You maybe need to dedicate maybe five minutes a day if you need to top off the water or as far as maintenance, and then maybe an hour to two hours every couple of weeks to do a water change and really clean out their tank, maybe scrape down the front of the glass. But as far as maintenance, that's pretty much it. It's a very small time commitment. And then the other thing, as far as the care of the turtle itself, also doesn't have to take up a lot of time. Feeding them may take up 15 minutes of your time. If they're adults, this will be every other day or every three days. And if they're babies, this is once a day. So you really don't have to spend that much time with them if you don't want to. And because they are reptiles and don't have the same emotional needs as say like a mammal, you are not required to give them as much attention to fulfill their emotional needs. And so if you're looking for a pet that you could leave alone for a week and just feed it and it wouldn't really care, then a turtle might be a good pet for you. The other thing about this is that you can actually leave them for like a short vacation, a weekend or something like that, because when they're adults, they don't need to be fed as frequently. So you don't need to worry about getting a pet sitter, come over to check on and take care of the animal if it's just for a brief, short period. Another reason turtles are great is because 
relatively, they don't take up a lot of space. Sure, you might have to get, say, for a full-grown turtle, you might need a 75-gallon tank. That's still only six square feet of space, which honestly is not that much. Most people could dedicate a wall in their house or a corner in their house to a fish tank versus having an animal that's free roaming, such as a dog or a cat that kind of just owns their whole place, walks wherever it wants to go. They're relatively self-contained, and part of this is that they don't make any noise, and they generally don't smell. Obviously, turtles are silent creatures. The only noise that will come out of having a pet turtle is potentially like your filter and the waterfall noise that sometimes comes with that. And then the smell, the only reason your turtle tank should smell, honestly, is because you're not maintaining it properly, which again, shouldn't take that much time or effort. So it's not hard to keep a well-maintained turtle tank that doesn't smell. Another thing is that as far as initial setup costs, it might seem kind of expensive to buy a tank, to get it all set up, to purchase all the equipment that needs to go with that tank. But you have to keep in mind that with turtles, the running costs of keeping that turtle alive and healthy is not very high at all. I would say that if I had to average out my costs for my turtles like on a monthly basis, it might come out to 10 to 20 dollars and that includes food, electricity, and any kind of equipment that needs like replacements, so like filter stuff that maybe needs to get changed. But the cost to keep them is pretty low once you get it set up and if you set them up properly most of the time you will not have to do it again, so you're not constantly having to upgrade. Of course, this is different if you have a baby turtle, in which case you might have to upgrade your tank size and filter. But for the most part, when you set up a turtle tank, there's not much that goes into the running cost and constantly having to get new equipment and that type of thing. Another nice thing about turtles is that depending on the species, you can actually keep them indoors or outdoors. So say you didn't want to have a pet inside, but you still wanted something to take care of, Turtles could potentially be kept in Rubbermaid tubs outside, you could build a nice pond, you could put them out on the patio. The possibilities are really endless and because turtles are pretty adaptable, as long as you provide them with the proper um, protection from outdoor threats such as animals and then also making sure that they have the proper temperature requirements that are being met, you can keep them outside, which is another great benefit. Also, because they are reptiles, they are hypoallergenic, so you're not likely to have your allergies triggered because you have a turtle. You aren't gonna be sneezing, you aren't gonna have runny nose, you aren't gonna have itchy, watery eyes, which can be a huge plus for those of you with allergies but still want a pet. Now, obviously, turtles also have very long lifespans, which can be either a pro or a con, depending on how you look at it. Most people like time to bond with their animals, to have their animals for a long period of time, and so turtles are great for that because they can live upwards of 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. A lot of turtles will stick around for a really long time. I've heard of people actually having to put their turtles in their will because their turtles outlived them. So that's something to keep in mind. But they do live a really long time, so you'll get to enjoy their companionship for many, many years. Another super great thing about turtles that's one of my personal favorites is their personality. Almost any turtle that you own will have some kind of distinct personality and some of them are shy, some of them are outgoing, some of them love food, some of them love to bask, some of them will swim around crazily, others will just snooze at the bottom of the tank, and they are, have so many different personalities and a lot of them will actually greet you when you come over to the tank. You can see Hoku back here coming to say hi to my finger, which can be really fun and also interactive. A lot of people like to describe them as fish, but more interactive, kind of like, as I like to say, underwater puppy dogs. So you don't really necessarily get so hands-on with them that much, but they're great pets if you just want to watch and enjoy them. A lot of people find great relaxation coming from watching a fish tank and watching a turtle because there's just something so peaceful about a fish tank and a turtle swimming around in the water, just cruising about. They are just a lot of fun to watch and can be really engaging, but without having to actually get hands-on with them. For that reason, I think turtles can be very educational for children. Maybe not necessarily like a pet for they themselves to own, but for a parent to teach their child about the pet, but without certain risks of actually having to take the animal out and holding it, because you would just explain, these animals are more for looking and not touching, but they can still be very interactive. The kids can touch the glass, and I think that that's another reason turtles make great pets. Turtles are also really smart. There is the potential to teach them how to eat out of your fingers, potentially how to play some games with you. I've seen people do like tic-tac-toe, which is super duper cute. And they're just in general pretty intelligent, 
some of the times. It can be fun to watch them hunt live prey items if you feel comfortable with that. And again, they're just a lot of fun to watch. Turtles are also, I would say, a pretty unique type of animal. Not many animals look like turtles with their shells and there's just many different turtle species you can pick from so for example this diamondback terrapin is very different from the standard turtle that most people see and so it creates a lot of interest and it makes people excited when they see something new and different and also like all of you said in on Instagram turtles are just undeniably cute many people are endeared to turtles there's just something very charming and cute about them they're certainly not very threatening unless it's maybe i don't know a snapping turtle but in that case they just look cool so people just love turtles and i'm sure that if you've watched this far in the video you like turtles too so those are my reasons that turtles make great pets i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you celebrate world turtle day tomorrow or whenever it's on may 23rd celebrate all things turtle and yeah. Also, some of you might notice that on Instagram and also in my community page here on YouTube, I blasted out a send me your submissions, send me your turtle tank photos. The response for that was absolutely amazing. There is still time to submit your photo of your turtle tank or whatever pet enclosure you'd like to send in. I'm thinking I'm gonna make that a series because so many of you replied and I was super impressed by all of your different turtle tanks. So my email will be in the description and in the comment section down below. So if you wanna submit a photo of your turtle tank, you can definitely do that. Just send me an email. And this will be for a video where I will react to your guys' setups and kind of just show them off because I think that there's a lot of cool ideas for turtle tanks and other pets that people can pull from your guys' setups. So again, that will be in the description and also in the comment section so you can submit your photos. Please make sure you include all of the information I asked for so I don't have to email you asking for that information. It'll help when I'm putting together the video. That should probably come out within the next couple of weeks. So keep an eye out for that. So that is today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all next Friday. Have a totally awesome day! <laughs> Bye!